Hello, I'm Dr. Halverson, at least that's what my students call me. I'm a, stu I'm a high school teacher at uh, Stern, Mass, uh, charter school in Los Angeles, and uh, I'm going to be showing um, a, a setup of a stepping motor that uh, I would like my students to eventually use um, on a telescope that uh, we're building. So um, I've got the basic setup functioning and uh, the next step is to take it to my students and get them to figure out what's going on and then have them apply it to the telescope. So here goes. The goal here is to get a is to get a motor to drive the uh, the up and down and left and right motion of the telescope as uh, accurately and smoothly as possible. So stepping motors are pretty good for that. Um, they are accurate, uh, but unless you take some extra steps, they're not very smooth. They tend to go step, step, step. So what I've done is uh, gotten a uh, motor which has uh, very small steps. Um, this one is uh, has the steps that are uh, half the usual size. Usually they're 1.8 degrees per step. This one is half that much, 0.9 degrees. Got these off of eBay. eBay. Um, and the other thing I've done to get small steps, you know, small steps means it'll be smoother, is uh, to get a what's called a micro-stepping controller and uh, this one I got from uh, Polulu and what it does is it uh, uh, manages to uh, move the uh, stepping motor in fractions of a step and in this case as small as 1 32nd of a step. Um, it does that by uh, instead of um, making a, a discrete um, uh, jumps in voltage on the motor windings. It instead makes very small uh, incremental changes in the uh, voltage on the motor windings. So, so uh, we'll see how that works. Okay, so we've got uh, all right. So we've got over here. This is the motor. It's a Vexta C8022-2912K-C2, whatever that means. Right here, you've got the micro uh, the, the controller, uh, the Polulu, um, it's catalog number 2982, it's a DRV8225, that's the chip on there. Um, and, uh, and, and, okay, so now the power is coming from this uh, power supply, it's set to 12 volts you can see that the motor is currently drawing 0.5 amps, a half an amp. That number is not going to change, by the way. It's always going to be the same amount of power going through, which means that this thing is constantly uh, wasting energy, actually. It's warm because of that current that's flowing through it at all times. Uh, the whole thing is uh, being controlled uh, by this Mac right here. Um, the Mac is controlling through USB a uh, uh, um, an interface um, made by uh, Labjack in Colorado. Uh, thank you to Labjack for donating this interface and supporting public education. Uh, okay, and um, so what the uh, interface is doing, um, I'm, I'm going to program it. I've, I've programmed it to produce. Uh, pulse sequences at certain rates. So each pulse um, that comes out of here will uh, represent, will cause the motor to move a uh, what they call a micro step. So, so if it wasn't for the micro stepping feature, if it was just stepping, then each pulse would be one step. But in here, uh, thanks to this uh, fabulous little chip, um, each pulse will be a 1 32nd of a step. Okay, so um, so now let's start the uh, the uh, well. Let's take a look at the stuff the software. So software is over here. This is the code, and um, 
the first thing that you see is stuff to uh, import various libraries provided by Labjack and some stuff that I wrote myself. Um, and uh, okay, here you are. I am uh, controlling the uh, how many micro steps per pulse. So, for example, um, if I put zero zero zero, then there would be just one step per pulse. And if I put uh, uh, one zero zero, then it's uh, two micro steps per one half of a micro step per pulse. One half of a step per pulse. If I put three, well, one, one, zero, then it would be one fourth. Uh, one zero zero would be one eighth. Uh, one zero one would be one sixteenth, and so on, uh, up to uh, uh, one oh one, which gives you um, uh, thirty two or oh, one thirty second. Um, this code here has to do with setting the timer up in the lab jack, and. Um, here we're, um, uh, okay, this doesn't do anything here, this doesn't do anything, this doesn't do anything. Okay, here I'm uh, calculating the period of the, uh, given a frequency, so let's say I want, um, well, I'm starting out with, uh, uh, I'm going to start out at 20 steps per second, 20 hertz, 20 steps. Here I figure out the period in, um, in, in, uh, uh, in uh, internal clock cycles, the LabJack has uh, its own way of clocking things, and um, this is code to uh, talk to the LabJack and set those cycles, uh, set the period, and um, uh, here I'm changing the frequency, and finally, um, uh, sometimes the I want the the whole thing to stop completely, so I've got I'm disabling the pulses here. Uh, here I'm disabling them. Yeah. Oh yeah, anyway, uh, enough of the code. Let's take a look at this thing in action. So, um, I'm going to go now to uh, the terminal. Let's see, here I am in the terminal. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to start the code here. So, uh, so here I'm running. It's Python. You know, Python is built into the Mac so I didn't need to install that, but I did need to install the libraries. So I'm just saying Python and the name of the program, this is my test program, it's a long name, uh, Stepping Motor Using SMTD3, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, that's the name of the code. I start it. Now, it's gonna ask me uh, what, uh, uh, what, should I, what should the bits be on the micro-stepping controller. So as I was explaining, if I put zero here, then it would be one step per pulse. If I put one, it would be half a step per pulse. If I put two, it would be a quarter step per pulse. So I'm going to put five. And that means it's going to be one thirty-second. That's the most smooth I can get. So five will be one thirty-second of a pulse, of a step per pulse. All right. And so now you've got pulses coming from the lab jack to the microcontroller, and now the microcontroller is causing the stepping motor to move. And I'm going to bring the camera up close so you can hear what's going on with the motor. So now that you've seen the the motor's motion, it's going to reverse. It's going to go the other way. Okay, got it to go the other way now. It's speeding up. It's slowing down. Let's take a look at what's coming out uh, to one of the motor coils. So I'm using uh, two scope probes. Here are the two probes, and um, I'm low pass filtering the. Um, the signal that's going to the scope probes. That low pass filter consists of a um, 10 kilo ohm resistor and uh, 10 microfarad, well, two 10 microfarad capacitors in series uh, back to back so that um, they can handle AC. 
so effectively five microfarads. So that makes a low pass filter. So, um, so the uh, top trace is showing what's going into one side of the motor of the motor coil. The bottom, uh, the blue one, is uh, showing the other side of the motor coil. And um, but what really matters uh, for the motor coil is not the voltage on one side or the voltage on the other side, but rather the difference in voltages. And so I'm using the math feature of the scope here to do a subtraction. And the red trace, which is in the middle, is showing um, the difference. Um, okay, now the scales, you can maybe see, uh, the yellow and blue, top and bottom, are 5 volts per division. And the middle, the math one, is 2 volts per division. As you can see, the um, microcontroller is essentially putting in a, w a sine wave to the um, to the stepping motor which um, accounts for the smooth operation um, if it wasn't micro stepping instead of a sine wave you'd be seeing a square wave there okay um, so so you, I think I've shown everything here um, Here's the power supply, as I said, even as the motor speeds up and slows down, I'm still seeing uh, 12 volts, half an amp. Um, the interesting thing about this is watch what happens when I increase the voltage here. I'm going to increase the voltage and um, the current goes down. And um, th this is a bit baffling, um, but uh, the explanation offered by Polulu is that um, the, uh, 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 this microcontroller um, is, uh, uh, the way it chops, apparently, uh, in effect, uh, acts as a step-down transformer. I'm still scratching my head about that one. And, and so... Um, to power the motor, um, if you're putting in more voltage, then you only you need less current uh, somehow. That uh, is what's happening, and um, uh, I, I do not totally understand how that works. I mean, you can explain it at some level; it makes sense, but in terms of the details of it, uh, uh, that's really hard to understand. Okay, um, so I think that's it. Now, um, maybe just for the sake of, uh, of completeness, let me uh, document how these wires are going. So, um, FIO4, uh, no, FIO3 is controlling the direction of the motor. So I'm switching that back and forth uh, when it comes to a stop. FIO4 is sending the steps, is, is the output of the timer, which is putting um, the you know, pulse generator, and that's going in each, that's stepping the microcontroller, the micro stepper. Uh, FIO5, 6, and 7, those are the ones that are determining the size of the micro steps. So if it was zero, 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 then it would be just one step per pulse and one, zero, one, one. Right now I have it set to one, zero, one. So it's 32 micro steps. Uh, one thirty second of a, of a step per pulse. Um, the big old capacitor here is for filtering. Uh, you need to have a big capacitor right on the input, the power input of the Micro stepper, another one of those capacitors. Um, the two 10 microfarad capacitors, the two 10K resistors to low pass filter what the scope sees. Mm, the probes, the scope, also donated by Labjack. Thank you, Labjack. Uh, okay, I think I think that's pretty much it. Um, if you want more details, uh, go to halverscience.net. Halver, H-A-L-V-E-R-S-O, 
H-A-L-V-E-R-S-C-I-E-N-C-E dot -E -E net. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.